guys! Today I am going to film a requested a hair care routine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, actually, I my routine changes because I love trying out new products. I love reviewing stuff for you guys. So my hair care does change because I love trying out new products and it's just so fun for me. So here are the Korean products that I've loved and enjoyed and I'm going to share them with you guys today. Now my hair is obviously curly. I think it's um, type 3. I'm not sure. Type C. Anywho, uh, I have curly hair and I have low porosity hair. That means and moisture doesn't really enter the hair shaft. Alright, let's get started. Now first, I have been trying out this new shampoo. I got this shampoo from Jumia or Su. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's Curl Curls Care by Dr. Miracle. It looks like this. It's actually the packaging is really cute. It's called Rehydrating Shampoo with Vitamin A, E, and Pentanol to rehydrate curls as it gently cleanses. Now this in the ingredients actually has um, menthol. It, you get this weird sensation of like coldness on your head because of the menthol and it's just I don't know I don't care for it I don't enjoy this feeling it feels weird like when I first used it it was just um, intense it like smelled really good it was amazing and then it was just weird cold feeling suddenly and you just don't know what to do I don't know it was really weird it was just really weird for my taste actually says uh, it's sulfate free of course I'm using the curly girl method that means no sulfate no silicone uh, it says also it has unique natural complex with honey and vitamins and helps hold the curls up to 12 hours actually my hair has not been hating this at all I would give this a total out of 7 out of 10 just because the menthol was a bit too much for me like why would you put menthol in there I'm pretty sure it was related to the formula somehow but I didn't really enjoy it it does have honey it has jojoba seed oil I'm reading off the, the ingredients it has corn oil it has coconut oil menthol pentanol glycol diesterate a bunch of stuff a bunch of chemicals and fragrance which actually it doesn't smell bad it smells kind of fruity in a good way so overall i don't know a seven out of ten again i didn't really enjoy the menthol type of situation um it wasn't my cup of tea but maybe someone would actually enjoy that weird cooling sensation on top of their head yeah uh second for conditioner i have been using the maui moisture Nourish Moisture Coconut Milk Conditioner for Dry Hair. The bottle looks like this. It's blue. It's really cute actually. Um, it's for dry hair. It has creamy coconut milk, sheer guava extract, and wholesome mango butter. And of course, it's silicon free. And you guys, this smells... Ah, <laughs> it smells amazing. I love it. I've used this uh, like three to four times so far and I've used like this much um, it's really nice it actually has aloe vera juice I'm not I kind of am allergic to aloe vera but only when it's like in severe concentrations and um, it's vegan oh it actually is intense <laughs> okay so it says it's pretty intense in the aloe vera <laughs> I don't know if should I be using this, but so far I haven't had any, alhamdulillah, I haven't had any reactions or anything like that, so good to go. Yeah. It's actually been doing a really nice job at hydrating my hair. Uh, I like to leave it on for a couple of minutes because I just like to feel like the, the, the conditioner is really doing its job at hydrating my hair. I got this also online from Jumia or Sue. I got this from, this is a Shea Soft and Smooth Creamy Hair Butter from OGX. It looks like this. It was again on the affordable side compared to other prices. It smells so good. It smells so good. It really does help keep, ooh, I kind of played around in it and now there's itty bits coming from the sides. 
that's not pretty. <laughs> Anywho, and it does a job at hydrating my hair. Um, I would give this again a seven out of ten. Like, uh, it it's really nice, but I feel like I needed more intensity like it's it's actually a leave-in or a rinse out i use it as a leave-in really pretty awesome but i just feel like i needed more hydration like my hair is really dry it's like extra dry so i just wanted some more moisture to some extent but it does the job it keeps my curls really curly it keeps them it actually says it um, it's good for frizz like it helps remove that and I felt that it does do that actually I feel like the frizz isn't really there it's less frizzy that's the word that I'm looking for so yeah and what I also loved was the Cantu Shea butter you can tell I'm in love with Shea for natural hair and this is a coconut curling cream it defines it moisturizes and it strengthens the strands it doesn't have any silicone it's really nice actually this smells amazing really good like really intense uh it smells really nice i love this i'm actually out of this i finished this and a couple of months ago I had to include it because you get it was such a big tub and I finished all of it and it was just so nice very moisturizing it really helped to curl everything it's just wonderful I love this one so much this is by Cantu here I'm gonna talk about a national brand uh, here in Egypt this is the uh, this is a brand called raw African and I actually had this um, product for a while now I'm pretty sure they came out with new packaging. I'm almost out of this one. This is the Maya hair mask uh, for low porosity hair. It's 100% natural and it's, I think it's like the avocado mask. It looks like that and it's so wonderful, but it's so nice, so hydrating. It says that uh, you should use a small amount on your hair and then you put a shower cap or like a hot towel and you stay or like you stay on their steamer for like 30 minutes I just feel like 30 minutes is not enough for me so I like to actually sleep in this and then wash my hair overnight because again hair is so dry no joke driest hair you will ever see in your whole entire life so yeah <laughs> this only works for me if I keep it on for like three hours two hours or I sleep overnight and then I just wash it off last but not least again another national brand this is called Nevertari and this is their arugula or roquette seed oil and you guys this is wonderful for my hair extra strength I need intensity I need intense stuff for my hair to actually look nice <laughs> so yes wonderful you just once a week you put some oil you put your shower cap or this um cap thing that i heat in the microwave for a minute and then it becomes all hot and you put it heat actually uh, allows the oil to enter the hair shaft and making the whole process of hydration easier and because low porosity hair really needs help in that area it's, it's like amazing. I love it so much. Like arugula oil is so wonderful for my hair. Like I tried it out a couple of times ago and I was like, how come I never found out about this before? I was like shocked. I was like, oh my God, how did you not know about this before? Phenomenal. Amazing. Really great product. And it's proudly handmade in Egypt. It's so cute. It's really wonderful. It's amazing. So yeah. It's my hair care routine for now. It's the products that I've been trying out and using. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out too, guys. You have no idea. I'll see you later. Bye.